Hey everybody, it's Jennifer from Shambana Moms. I'm here with Miss Cherie for Ask Miss Cherie. Um, we come every week um, together to talk to Cherie about a question that you, our readers, have. Today's question um, is a good one, one that I think a lot of parents have, and it's how can we create good sleep habits for our children? Yes, um, I think uh, this is a timely question, especially with going back to school and trying to get children reacclimated to a regular routine. Yes because routine is really, um, across all authorities, the, the biggest variable in establishing healthy sleep habits, if you ask me. Yeah, well, me that's, I think that is um, true and sometimes difficult to do. Um, yes. I'm sure there are kind of guidelines for different ages of children. Um, you know, a toddler and a high schooler are different. Oh, definitely. I mean, so, so that, that's the first thing you wanna ask is about how much sleep does my child need? And it's, it's really important to look at the different um, age groups and, and what sleep depri deprivation can look like in a child. Um, so um, sleep is really important because I mean it can you know sleep deprivation can can surface as other symptoms you know can look like the child is, has ADHD if they're you know, impulsive or um, hyperactive or um, you know not, unable to focus and you know poor sleep habits you know contribute to poor academic performance so you you are going to want to look at the the age groups and the routines and and the sleeping environment so toddlers and you know like priest priest the younger children um they need um between uh 10 and well, like 11 and 13 hours of sleep or between that and then uh elementary would be between like 9 and 11 hours of sleep mm -hmm. and so basically um all of the authorities would would have you um, making sure that you've got that nice routine that's a calming de-escalating thing where you maybe a warm bath you read a book together have some cuddle time um, and what the experts also recommend regardless of the age is that if, if especially if they're having trouble falling asleep on their own it's really important for children to form their own um, ability to f put themselves to sleep is to put them down not already asleep that um, let them learn how to self-soothe and fall asleep on their own um, when they're very sleepy but yet still awake that's the zone you want to get them mm -hmm. down and tucked in real good so um yes well this is not an easy thing no. to do and <laughs> Quite frankly, every child is different. So yes. even if you have two children, what may have worked on one Agreed. may not work on the other. But I think overall, um, it's important to have a routine. Agreed. Whatever you find that routine for your family and stick with yeah. it and don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. Um, it works. And you will sleep again. Yep. <laughs> you will sleep again. I promise that. That so, is true. That is true. Um, thank you for your question. Um, you too can write in a question for Miss Cherie to answer. The link is in our comments. Um, and when you do that, you're entered to win one free hour of Kids Camp here at Logic. You can use that hour to take a nap because you didn't <laughs> sleep or do whatever you want. But thank you for sending in your questions and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.